It started as a single incident that marine biologists dismissed as unusual behavior. But what began in May 2020 has escalated into one of the most bizarre and terrifying phenomena in modern maritime history. Orcas, the ocean's apex predators, have been systematically attacking and sinking boats across European waters. Over 700 encounters, more than 250 boats damaged, and at least six vessels sent to the bottom of the sea. This isn't random chaos. This is coordinated, intelligent, and it's spreading. Today, we're diving into the shocking truth behind why killer whales have declared war on human vessels, and why experts believe this is only the beginning. The first attack happened on May 2nd, 2020, in the Strait of Gibraltar, one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. A sailing yacht reported being surrounded by a pod of orcas that began ramming their boat repeatedly. The crew watched in horror as these massive predators, each weighing up to six tons, targeted their rudder with surgical precision. Within weeks, more reports flooded in. Boats were being disabled, their steering systems destroyed by what witnesses described as coordinated attacks. The orcas weren't just bumping into vessels by accident, they were hunting them. By the end of 2020, over 40 incidents had been recorded, but this was just the warm-up. In 2021, the attacks intensified. Sailors reported pods of orcas working together like military units, with some whales distracting the crew while others attacked the rudder from below. The encounters lasted anywhere from 15 minutes to over an hour, with the orcas showing no signs of backing down. Then came the first sinking. In July 2022, a sailboat carrying five passengers was attacked off the Portuguese coast. The orcas rammed the vessel repeatedly until water began pouring in through damaged hull sections. The crew was rescued, but their boat disappeared beneath the waves, the first confirmed victim of what scientists were now calling orca interactions. But the most shocking incident happened on the night of May 4, 2023. The sailing yacht Champagne was crossing Spanish waters near Gibraltar when it was surrounded by a pod of orcas. For 90 minutes, the whales took turns attacking the boat. Two orcas focused on destroying the rudder, while a third rammed the hull repeatedly. Despite the crew's desperate attempts to radio for help, the Champagne suffered catastrophic damage and sank, leaving its occupants floating in life rafts surrounded by the very predators that had just destroyed their vessel. The attacks continued throughout 2023, reaching a terrifying peak of 207 recorded incidents. The Alberon Cognac became another casualty in May 2024, sunk after Orcas breached its hull near the southern entrance to the Strait of Gibraltar. Most recently, the yacht Ocean View was sent to the bottom off Lisbon, Portugal, after Orcas broke its rudder and caused massive water ingress. What makes these attacks even more disturbing is their precision. These aren't random acts of aggression. The orcas are specifically targeting the rudders of sailboats, the one component that renders a vessel completely helpless. It's as if they've studied human maritime technology and identified our greatest weakness. So, who's behind this unprecedented campaign of destruction? Scientists have identified the ringleader, a female orca known as White Gladys, or Blanca in Spanish. Researchers believe she experienced a traumatic event in 2020, possibly a collision with a boat or entanglement in illegal fishing gear that triggered this aggressive behavior toward vessels. The orcas involved belong to the Iberian subpopulation, one of the most critically endangered marine mammal groups in Europe. With fewer than 40 individuals remaining, every single whale in this population is precious yet they've all learned to associate boats with either threat or play, depending on which theory you believe. The financial cost has been staggering. Individual boat repairs can cost tens of thousands of dollars, assuming the vessel survives. 
Insurance companies are now excluding orca damage from policies in affected areas. But the human cost goes beyond money. Sailors describe these encounters as absolutely terrifying. Imagine being surrounded by 20-foot predators that are systematically destroying your only means of survival while you're hundreds of miles from shore. The psychological trauma of these attacks has left many experienced mariners afraid to return to the water. The most disturbing aspect might be how the behavior continues to evolve. Early attacks were relatively brief and unfocused. Now, the orcas show increasing sophistication in their techniques. They've learned to attack in deeper water where boats can't reach shallow refuge. They coordinate their assaults more effectively. Some researchers worry they're developing new strategies that could make them even more dangerous. Recent incidents suggest the orcas are also becoming bolder. In 2024, they attacked boats in broad daylight with multiple witnesses, showing no fear of human presence. They've begun targeting larger vessels, including commercial fishing boats and research vessels. The geographic range is expanding, with confirmed attacks now reported from Gibraltar to Scotland. What happens next depends on which theory proves correct. If this is just a fad, it might fade away naturally as orcas lose interest. If it's trauma-based revenge, it could continue until White Gladys dies or the behavior is somehow unlearned. If it's an uprising, we might see escalation to larger ships and more dangerous encounters. But if it's about survival, then these attacks will continue as long as the Iberian orca population remains critically endangered and their food sources depleted. In that scenario, every boat becomes a potential target in their desperate fight for existence. The most chilling possibility is that this behavior could spread to other orca populations worldwide. Orcas are found in every ocean, and they're all capable of learning from each other. If boat attacks become a global orca behavior, maritime travel could face an unprecedented threat from the ocean's most intelligent predators. For now, the attacks continue. Just last month, another sailing yacht was damaged off the Portuguese coast, its rudder destroyed by a coordinated orca assault. The crew was rescued, but their boat joined the growing list of vessels that have fallen victim to these apex predators. After millions of years of coexistence, something has fundamentally changed in the relationship between humans and orcas. Whether it's revenge, play, uprising, or survival, one thing is clear. The rulers of the ocean have sent us a message. The question is, are we listening? The next time you see a sailboat heading toward the Strait of Gibraltar, remember that somewhere in those dark waters, White Gladys and her pod are waiting. And they've proven that when it comes to the ocean, humans are no longer the apex predator.